In this video, we will upgrade Angular version. When we created this project, we were on Angular 11. Now we will upgrade Angular version. We can easily upgrade Angular version. Sometime we face issue, but it's depend on your project complexity or third party libraries. Open new tab, search Angular upgrade guideline. You can see update.angular.io and open this website. This is a simple website. Here you have to select Angular versions. It will show the guideline. In a guideline, you will see different commands. We don't know our project version. Go to package.json file. Package.json file keep the record of your project dependencies. Angular slash animation, Angular slash common, compiler and core version is 11.1. .1, so it's mean we are on Angular 11. From drop down, select 11. Guideline showing warning we do not support migration across major versions at once. Please migrate each major version individually. Never migrate across major version at once. First, we will upgrade Angular version from 11 to 12, then 12 to 13. Select 12. I am on Windows 10. I am not using Angular material. I will select the app complexity medium. Checkbox on each guideline so you can remember where are you now. This command will bring you to version 12 of Angular. Copy this command. Click on this copy icon. Paste that command here. Press enter. It's done. Angular now require TypeScript 4.2. ng update will update you automatically. Run ng update. It's done. These are the new things in Angular 12. Internet Explorer 11 spot has been deprecated. Now you have to import XHR factory from Angular slash common instead of Angular slash common slash HTTP. These are the localization changes. We are not using image distinct change only. If you are using change accordingly, first command update these changes for you. This is an optional command. It will update the production command. Let's try this. Click on copy. Paste and run. We should commit the code before running this command. Leave this command. It will only update the ng build command. I will show you later how. We have updated the angular version. Now we are on angular 12. You can see in a package.json file angular slash animation common compile and core version is 12. Now we will verify everything working fine. We can confirm this thing by running command ng build dash dash prod because ng serve and ng build without prod flag don't show all errors. Run npm run build. This command don't have a dash dash prod flag. We will add. In package.json file, in a script block, in a build command, add dash dash prod. npm run build. It's saying dash dash prod flag is deprecated. Use dash dash configuration production. So we will use this. Now run npm run build. You can see ng build dash dash configuration production command. We got one error, one warning. This are related to angular build budget. You can increase decrease build budget. Budget is a feature in angular CLI which allows you to set budget threshold in your configuration to ensure part of your application stay within boundaries which you set. Go to angular.json search budget object in a budget maximum warning and maximum error limit I set 5 MB run npm run build so now we got budget warning we can remove this budget warning increase warning limit now run the application run npm run start Refresh the page. 
no error everything working fine open dev tool refresh page no error now we will upgrade angular from 12 to 13 select 12 to 13 copy this command paste here error you have to commit the code before updating the angular version commit the code angular upgrade 12 to 13 run again command Angular 13 require node 12 or later to check node version type node dash dash version I have 14 these are the angular 13 features no other commands mentioned in this guideline build the solution run npm run build no errors in a package.json you can see angular slash animation compiler and core version is 13 now start the application we will test npm run start no error close this tab refresh the page no error open dev tool refresh the page no error so we have successfully upgraded the angular version from 11 to 13 if you see the errors in upgrade process share with me or search on a google you will find the solution sometimes you have to update the third-party libraries because they don't compatible with new version of angular